Hello traders. For years, Apex has offered two account options, Rhythmic and Tradivate. If you're curious about the differences between these two account options or need step-by-step -step guidance on setting them up, be sure to watch these three videos linked in the description. Now, Apex is introducing a third account option, Wealth Charts. In this video, I will walk you through the entire setup process from start to finish. So let's head on over to the Apex Trader Funding website and get started. Okay, so you have two options to purchase the account. You can select the products menus drop down, click on wealth charts, then select the account size you want. The other option is to scroll down until you see the wealth charts plan right over here. Then you can select the account size you want. Over here, it shows more information on each account size. So once you select the account size you want to make your purchase, uh, you're going to get an email that looks like this. Okay, so this email is going to have uh, the temporary password that you're going to use when you initially log on. So you just click on the wealth charts link over here, enter your email address and that temporary password. Then click log in. And then over here, you just select the language you like to use. You have the option of either English or Spanish. After you select that, click next. And over here, you enter the password that you'd like to use. And then enter the password confirmation and then select next. And over here, you enter the display name that you'd like to use for wealth charts and then click next. And over here, you select whether you're a non-professional or a business. In most cases, everyone is going to be an individual. So click individual. And then on the bottom, enter your initials and click next. And over here, click confirm account. And it'll take you back to the login page. Where you can enter your email address and the password that you just created. Then click login. And over here, you, you have a few options on uh, getting additional information or just getting a tour of the platform. And over here, it just shows the most recent wealth charts updates that were implemented on the platform. Afterwards, you could just close out of that. And now you come up to the uh, disclosure. Um, just needs to just scroll down to the bottom of that. Read that. Scroll to the bottom. Then click the box. Print your name and enter today's date. Then click submit. Over here, you want to choose the Apex Trader Funding option and then select the account you'd like to trade. Then click login. So once you're on the home page, WealthCharts provides a lot of different options such as popular stocks, recent wealth thoughts, upcoming events because uh, Wealth Charts provides a lot of different uh, training on their platform. Okay, so um, if you don't want to see this, this um, information when you log on to the home page, you can just go up to the settings bar and go to home page and make sure that it's toggled off. Okay, so now how do you open up a chart? You go over to the right, you can click on the plus to add a chart. And any indicators you need to add, you would go to this icon right here. However, Wealth Charts does have pre made charts specifically for Apex. You do that by going up here to the menu, scroll down to Layouts, and right over here you see Wealth Charts Apex. Click on that, and you have quite a few different options with a pre made. Um, charts specifically for Apex. You have it for um, Apex Analysis, Apex Multi-Use, Trading Dashboard, Apex Order Execution. For this particular example, we're going to choose Apex Multi-Use. Okay, so after you select the chart, you're going to see a pop-up window showing information on the Wealth Charts copier. We're going to go over the Wealth Charts copier later, so you can just close out of that. And what we're going to first do is show you how to pull up a chart. You can do that one of two ways. 
you can right click on the actual chart and then scroll down to search symbol and just type in the symbol you'd like over here. Second way is you can just click this search icon over here and also select the symbol you like. You want to make sure you click on futures so that only futures things will come up. So in this example, we're going to do ES. You always want to make sure you select the correct contract month. As of the time of this video, the correct contract month is December 2025. So let's select that. And as you can see, it changed it to ESZ5, which is December 2025 contract month. Next, let's go into how to place an order. You can do that multiple ways. You can use the DOM over here. If you want to place a sell order, you just click the level you'd like to over here. If you want to place a buy order, you click the level you'd like to over here. If you want to get directly into a market order buy, click over here, market order sell, click over here. Uh, now, for the other remaining ones, we're just going to make a little bit more room because the DOM takes up a lot of space. So I'm going to close out of here. It's just going to give us a little more room on the chart. And get more room, you can just drag this over here. Okay, now the other way you can place a order directly from the chart, just put the cursor where you'd like to place your order, right click on it. And then if you wanna do a sell, click sell. If you wanna click a buy, click buy. Now the other option is you can pull up the trading panel right over here and if you want, you can move it to the side by clicking this over here. It'll put it nicely over here and you can click a buy order and a sell order right here. Next, I'm going to show you my favorite feature on wealth charts. It's the liquidation indicator. You want to make sure that you have it toggled on over here on the right hand side. Now, this indicator will let you know the exact price level if you're in an evaluation account on when it's going to fail. If you're in a PA account, it'll show you the exact price level on when your account will be blown. So this is very valuable information so that you don't have to worry about always monitoring your dashboard. The heavy lifting is done for you. So in order for this to work, you have to make sure you're in, a, in an actual position. So we're going to take a buy order right here. And as you can see, we're in a position. Over here, right here, click on the paper portfolio. We're actually in a position. OK, now in order to see where the price level is, you're going to want to scrunch down. If you're in a buy order, the price level is going to be on the bottom. We're also in a PA account. So the other thing with a PA account, the liquidation indicator also shows when you're in an opens position and your position has drawn down over 30 percent. So there's a price level for that. They also have added in a suggestion daily limit price level. That's just a suggestion. And then as you can see all the way on the bottom, you see the liquidation threshold on when your account will actually be blown. Now, if you happen to add to your or to position, the price levels will adjust accordingly. So as you can see, I added to the position and the price levels moved up and were adjusted. So these current price levels now for the liquidation, the 30 percent threshold, they have all been adjusted accordingly. So this is a very helpful feature to help you with your risk management. OK, so next I'm going to show you how to use the trade copier. OK, first that you want to make sure that the account that you're using over here is going to be the same account as the leader account. You want to make sure that the same accounts are selected. So the account that we're using on the dashboard is account and ends in 01. So we want to make sure that the leader account matches and also ends in 01. OK, so that's done. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the symbol or instrument that you're trading on the chart is the same instrument that you have selected at, in the trade copier. OK, so the current instrument that we're using on the chart is ESZ5. That's the instrument in the chart. Now we want to make sure that we select that same symbol instrument in the trade copier. So let's do that right now. Here it is, ESZ5. So. We have that uh, selected as well. Okay, and the next step, we want to make sure that we 
select the follower accounts that we want to use. Um, I currently have two accounts. So I'm going to, we have a, the one ending in 01 as the leader account. So I'm going to check the box on this. So that will be the follower account. And then we also have the option whether or not we want to have the follower account also be ESZ5, or we have the option to use, um, to, to have it cross over and be a micro account. And you do that by clicking over here. And as you can see, it changed from the ES to MES, which means it's a micro uh, instrument. So for this example, I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep it as the micro instrument. And then the next thing we can do if we want, um, we can change the, the, the quantity of the follower account. Currently it's at one. I'm going to change it to two. So when I place this order, the leader account is going to have one ES contract and the follower account is going to have two MES contracts. Okay. So let me place the order. I'm going to place a buy order. Okay, so the orders have been placed. And as you can see, account 01 has one ES contract. Account 02 has two MES contracts. So that was successful. Now let me flatten the positions. Okay, and that's how you use the copy trader. Now, if you want to dive deeper into any of the features that Wealth Ch Charts has, for instance, if you want to dive deeper into the trade copier, you can click on this icon right here and it'll give a deeper dive into the trade copier. Also, if you want any information on any of the other features or, or the platform in general, you can go up to the menu over here, click education, and then click Wealth Charts TV. And let me just maximize that and Wealth Charts provides a whole lot of training, tutorials, classes on anything on the platform. So this is your place if you want to get a detailed class on anything that Wealth Charts offers on the platform. Interested in purchasing Apex accounts? Okay, okay, I take that as a yes. Feel free to use my affiliate link in the description or enter promo code WISDOM to get the best discount currently offered by Apex automatically applied to your order. In my next video, I'll be going over the differences between Wealth Charts, Rhythmic, and Tradivate, so stay tuned. Until next time, thank you for watching Trader Wisdom.